Welcome in this video about uh, PictoSearch for Capture One. I'm going to show you how to install and run PictoSearch on your Mac. When you receive the DMG file, the best is really to install PictoSearch by dragging its icon right into the Applications folder and then launch it from, from there. Since PictoSearch is a menu bar app, it won't show any window, but instead it will appear in your menu bar. And this is where you can uh, start working with it. So here, because it's the first time, I will add my first catalog simply by navigating to a folder and picking here a specific Capture One catalog that I'm adding. And here I'm in the, the main screen of uh, Picto Search where I can see my indexed sources. Um, some statistics about um, my images, videos, catalog sessions, and um, also I have some actions that I can perform, like adding more sources, um, adding sources as a batch, etc. So let's add a little bit more data. I can either do that simply by taking a catalog, if I know where it is, and dragging it into this area, so you can see it highlights, or I can also use this batch ingest sources functionality that lets me uh, add all the sources that are in a folder hierarchy. And this is very convenient if you have lots of Capture One sessions. So here I've chosen a folder. It's picked up three sources. Two of them are already um, ingested and you can see the speed at which uh, ingested, ingestion takes place and one source has a little warning simply because some data is offline but i decide to proceed anyway it's fine if some masters are offline i, I just need previews generated by capture one in order to uh, nourish my index for search As you can see how it's making progress i have now four catalogs and i have um, a number of images and some videos in it i will also add a session can just add it as well and you can see now I have sessions being indicated as well here and my indexing is in progress this simply means that um, all the data has been read but now the uh, search index is being populated with the data from the videos and the images I can start using the the program even if indexing is still running and I can start running some searches. So for example, if I'm looking for canal at sunset. Okay, so I have some, some images here. All right. Whenever I double click on, on an image that is found, it's going to launch Capture One. And it's going to select the image for me. So if I click on another image, you can see how Picture Search talks to Capture One in order to for the selection to be uh, to be updated. I can of course select multiple images, and Capture One reflects that. So if I look for something else, like something which has red in it, I can um, add some extra criteria, for example, uh, based on star rating. Criteria lets me also select if I want to see only images or, or only videos here. I'm looking at both at the same time. Videos are retrieved uh, as well. Uh, and here, for example, I have a video of a cow and I can see in blue, which is the area of the video that is uh, uh, that has a cow in it. If I look uh, for an eagle, for example, I know that I have uh, some videos here, which, let's make it a little bit bigger, which show uh, an eagle. So you can see how PictoSearch finds content inside your videos um, and will actually point to the exact location where this content was found. If I want to uh, make a selection and turn that selection into a collection, that's very easy as well. 
Notice that as I clicked on this uh, image, uh, a new catalog was opened immediately for me. If I want to turn these three images into um, a collection, I can do so. By default, it's going to take the name of my query. If I want to add more images to that collection, I can do that as well. For example, those two simply add to collection, use the same name. And as you can see, the, the collection is, uh, is reflected in the background here, and I have now five images. It's also very powerful to take one image and to find similar images right from the user interface. Uh, for example, let's take this one. As you can see, it's going to find similar images in all my catalogs based on that one uh, query image. So that is PictoSearch for Capture One. It um, lets you index sessions and standard catalogs, gives you access to a search by prompt, search by image. Uh, it supports batch ingestions of sources to make it really convenient. If you have lots and lots of uh, uh, Capture One sessions, you can ingest them all by pointing to a uh, a folder where they are contained and it's very fast as you can see we while we were doing this uh, this short demo we indexed uh, 14,000 images and 71 videos and they are now all ready to be used picto search is always on always available simply click on the icon type your query and there you go we really hope you liked it thanks a lot bye bye